Hello, this is Ian Gabertese talking to you this week about boundary cooling. And boundary cooling we need to think of as more than just putting water on hot surfaces. Boundary cooling when a fire breaks out on board a vessel enables us to do one of two things and the first is to defend the vessel. By keeping the bulkheads wet we reduce conducted heat coming through those bulkheads and we stop radiant heat from setting fire to other things. So it's a really good defensive strategy. The problem of containing heat within the fire compartment is the heat increases. So it makes it dangerous if we choose to send in an attack team. By controlling our jet spray nozzles, so we've got a little bit of water to a lot of water, what we can then do is an offensive boundary cooling technique. So if we're going to send people inside in the breathing apparatus to deal with the fire, then we need to pull as much heat out of that space as we possibly can. The bulkheads will absorb the heat. If we use that heat to make steam, then we're pulling heat out of the bulkhead, which allows it to soak up more. And it takes a bucket load of energy to turn water into steam. The heat energy is all we're using. So little sprays of water, or the least amount you can get away with to make the maximum amount of steam. A wet bulkhead is not making steam, leave it alone until it dries. Remember to cover all the surfaces that you can reach. With lever action nozzles or branches, we can achieve both types of boundary cooling, but we have to think of the offensive boundary cooling in a slightly different way. So lots of water is easy to achieve from anything. What's less easy to achieve is our fine control. A lever action nozzle won't throw a little bit of water very far unless we reduce our literage, able to do that, and we pulse our water onto dry surfaces. You can see here where the pulses are hitting, we're creating a lot of steam. We're pulling a lot of energy out of those bulkheads. And really, that's the key to offensive boundary cooling. The key to defensive is, of course, plenty of water. And that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to ask questions and queries. I'll be only too happy to help. Bye-bye.